Let's video type me video uh, video one. I start a new building now. I think I introduced it about a couple days ago. I think it's either on, on my trumpet or kit that I've done. And uh, this kit's no stranger. This is the Airfix 148 scale E6A Prowler under the licensing of the United States brand MPC. Now, so far, I've got this thing. Uh, <coughs> all the parts is pretty much all um, pretty much all uh, all together, sub assembly wise. Now, I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to take a look at this. It's going to be like a fast video here, guys. Uh, as you can see right here, I exploded views here. I've got the windmill generator electronics packages right here. The kit comes with the ordinance and the fuel tank. So it comes with four four of these windmill type generator type uh, electronic packages and two fuel tanks. That's the only ordinance this aircraft carries because it's, it's electronics aircraft. And uh, this aircraft right here is uh, of the variant from the E, the A6 Intruder. The only difference between the A6 Intruder and the, the, the EA6 Prowler is that there's only two people. You got two uh, two flight. Uh, you got two. Uh, you got two pilots. Probably got a bombardier electronics officer and also a pilot. There's only two. They don't sit tandem, they sit side by side. This here is they have four. Probably a pilot, <coughs> a radio bomb, a, bomb, a, bomb, uh, a radar officer, a navigator, another one could be probably a, a electronics officer as well. I, would, I don't know. This aircraft entered the service by the time I was getting I was getting out of the Navy. The Grumman A6 intruder came out in nineteen sixty-nine. But actually they were on the drawing board and being developed at that time. By nineteen eighty they came into the service. The United States Navy Except them they had a squadron of them. They had a squadron on the Ranger, the Kitty Hawk, the uh, the Kennedy, and also they had another another flat top out. You saw them on too. It wasn't on the risky like the one I was on. They didn't have on the risky. Uh, I think the other carrier, the other missing carrier could be um, yeah, the Ticonderoga. These are very, very, uh, <coughs> very tough airplanes. Very big, too. As you can see, 148 scale is about the size of a maybe a Mitchell bomber. 148 scale, perhaps maybe almost that of a B 17, almost as big as a B 17. I imagine it's about 60 something feet long as the fuselage is. Runs on Pat Whitney J52 engines. Ordinance, as I mentioned a while ago, are uh, four windmill generated electronic packages, two fuel tanks, and that's it. Another thing I've got to mention too in the kit, we give you four pilots, and the four crew members. Uh, they come and actually each member comes with uh, three pieces. The arms are attached from the torsos. So they're molded separately, so you gotta pop the arms off the sprues and glue them in different poses, positions as you, uh, as you desire. So far, my knowledge, this airplane does not need no filler, no putty at all. Right now, I'm sanding these things together as I join these uh, electronic packages together. <clears throat> they're pretty good. I put a shoot of coat of primer on there, and that'll really seal the veil right there. That's funny, when I look at the light, it sure shows some places where I missed that. 
So it always pays, guys, to move your parts around on different shades of lighting because it'll, it'll show you mistakes if, if you don't. All right, yeah. Now, I already got the, uh, the console for the crew members. Get a little close to this webcam. I don't want to pick this thing blurry. It's too close. It might blur out. No, I don't blur out. It's a little fuzzy, but you get the general idea. This is what they give for your cockpit. No decal, no decals at all for the instrument panels. Everything's got to be painted. What I'm going to do with this stuff right here, I'm going to paint this gold gray right here and pick out the seats in black. I didn't glue the seats down. I just popped them in there. Right here, I showed you on the inbox review, I think two videos ago. Here's the, uh, here's the instrument panels right here. They give you. You got to be painted gray and with a toothpick or a real fine pickly object. You can pick out very nicely the instrument panels. That's one other flaw of this kit I didn't like. But this kit came out back in the 1980s. So this kit's 40 years old, 40 something years old. So it's a nice kit. I drive things together. As you can see, all the sub assemblies, all the pre sanded, I just got to the finishing sanding of electronic packages. A few slides fit together very well. And, and uh, believe you me, there's, there's, there's uh, no, no filler at all. It's still a good tip. You just put the fuchsia all together, but you, once you get it lined up for those pins there, as you can see, it goes together very well. Those fits, fits real nice. <clears throat> I got all my paints all out right now, ready to paint them. I got all the sub assemblies done. The other fine parts I got in there will have to be assembled as I go along with the model. And uh, so all there is to do now on the fowler is to go ahead and paint and assemble. And just keep painting and assembling until it's done. This thing's going to go together pretty fast. <clears throat> I saw a couple of videos on the internet a while ago. They looked pretty good. I saw one built up right there. It's, it's kind of a, a very excellent job on it. But you know, there's a. Uh, you got a lot of raised panels on here. That's going to ruin the watch effect. You got some panels that are recessed, like the control surfaces. And also the, the, the slants. All the control surfaces are recessed. They'll take washes really nice once it's white paint on it. And also the gold gray. On top surfaces too as well, but a lot of them are raised, so the raised they can't be helped. That got to be appreciated in. Let's see here. Stabilizers. Stabilizers are composed of four pieces, two pieces per stabilizer. They got a bottom section here. You can tell how how it fits together. I got a little filler in there. Fill this in. I dry fitted the wings to the fuselage. Stabilizers to the fuselage. Spot on. Tight fit. So I don't think this thing's going to be a very hard to, to prepare for painting because it goes together very, very well. Plastic is typical Air Force Airfix plastic. It's, uh, it's pretty hard. Ain't like that, ain't that soft hornby plastic they use. I swear, they, they must have, yeah, I like the plastic, but to me, it's really, it's like me, they're really good skimpy on the plastic. This here's pretty meaty. Of course, it's an older model. So this under the license, licenses of NBC out of the uh, United States of America. It is an Airfix kit. It's just NPC. It's licensed in America. I'm, a general, I'm sponsored under General General Foods, General uh, General Mills. I remember they started that back in the very early 70s when Airfix started making uh, licensing NPC kits. <clears throat> and it said General Mills. Says, Man, the food corporation buys this. 
Okay, that's about what I got there on the A6 and shooter. I just figured I'll make another video to show you how much uh, I came along on this. And uh, so tomorrow I'll, I'll work out a little bit, get together, put it aside, and I'm going to bring out my A6, my uh, A10. Warthog, and start finishing up the weathering on it. It's, and get the and uh, make a selection of the ordinance I'm gonna put on it. And just go ahead and uh, pre sub assemblies, build the uh, ordinance, and paint them separately, and install them last when the model's all been decaled and weathered. And uh, find a little veil for that. But this is gonna be a fun build. Somehow this kit interests me no end. I bought this at an old hobby shop here in Dayton, Ohio. The Dayton Mall. The place is called K&B Hobbies. That hobby shop does not exist anymore. I imagine it went out of business probably by the end of the 1980s. I bought this back in 1984. I think I paid $12 for this kit. I just never built it until, until now. I went to storage and dragged it out of, out of the closet and decided to be a fun build to build. So I got a lot of stuff coming your way. When it started getting really cold outside and snow coming down, I'm going to start turning two on my Portland steamer by Blue Jacket Ship Crackers. I got that in my, bunk, in my bunk room back there. I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff back there. I'm very surprised this trailer can hold a lot of stuff. I remember I first moved in this place about a year or so ago, and it was so bland here, nothing. But since it's full, full of airplanes and ships, I feel like I'm back home in the old house I had. Yeah, I actually miss that house. That was a nice home. But it just shows you what happens, what progress can do. You buy a house, they move you right out because they got something else they want to do. There's one thing bad about Ohio out here, guys. These all these townships, they got they're overpopulated. I mean I live out here in the country out here where farmers are at and they have a lot of respect and they honor rents. And a lot of these people out there they, they love me out here. They they know I'm a new boy in town. And they know I'm a vet and they always help me. I go down to dick to a grocery land. I can walk there probably about five minutes. Now they got a lot of good home cooked food in that place there. And I, once while I go in there, they give you a free cup of soup. I said, oh, heck yeah. You know, thank you guys. I appreciate this. God, God love you for this. And uh, chicken tenders too, and stuff like that. And So they eat pretty good out here. Everybody is gordo except me. Gordo is Spanish means fat. What people eat nowadays are killing themselves out of all the food they're eating. My God, I tell you. <coughs> and enough that jazz. This is a model community. <laughs> okay. That's about it, Phil. That's about all I got was shaking right now. And I hope you enjoyed the bit that my uh, my firehouse Friday I had. I mean, that, I mean, tell you that fire just come along really nice. I really love that thing. In a way, I'm kind of proud of myself, you know, that that I have actually uh, delved in that thing and started building it. And I'm gonna delve in this thing tomorrow. Start doing some assembling on it, do some painting. So I'm gonna start. First thing I'll do, I'll, I'll always do. I want to paint this whole unit right here. This whole cockpit unit. Paint the seats. Give it a good wash. I'm going to do my Sunday's finest and detailing my, my instrument panels up and also the console dials and switches and stuff they have. It will be very simple for me. i got a whole slew of toothpicks here and a lot of paint. Nothing but time. Another build ready to go. Okay, let's see what else i got shaking here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to get a lot of albatross.
That's about it, guys. I think old Frankie D is about is about out what I got to, got to say and what's on my mind. Okay, uh, for those of who want this, who want to get this kit, you know, it's, I imagine it's out there somewhere, probably in eBay. That'd be the best place to go, guys. Ain't nothing that place does not have. Trust me, nothing. And uh, it's a nice kit. I haven't built it yet. I, I, I fiddled with it a lot. I fiddled with the parts. And I dry fitted the parts. And they fit very, very well. Very well. So no need for putty. That's a, a plus right there. Thank you, Airfix. Now those are the major assemblies with, with all, the, all, the, all the fillers needed. Everything else just pops on. So I got a lot of parts to do on there. So all I'll do now is, like I said, get this thing all painted out and get it assembled and proceed with some more stuff with some assemblies and paint the same and install. Like generally the rule of thumb and modeling. Okay, uh, today is Sunday. No, today is Saturday. And uh, my day off is Monday. So Monday I'll probably be uh, working on the albatross. So I've got a video of that coming your way. So right now it's all ready to be painted. Needs to be painted. Windows are all masked on it. Yeah. Right now he's pre shading. I'm going to paint the black border lines of the uh, high visibility walkways on the wings and also the high visibility. Uh, Color color stripes on the tails and also the uh, wing tips. And everything else is natural aluminum. Lucky me, I found my special metal paint that I bought down there at the uh, Ace Hardware. It's called natural aluminum. That's good stuff. The thing about it is, guys, once you open up that can, you better use it as fast as you can. Because that stuff right there, it starts caking up and love it. You get a film on top of it, and you want to get rid of that film it, it, immediately because you don't. It turns into a cake, and also it'll break apart. It has particles in there. When you're brushing silver, just <laughs> spitting up those little particles of silver on there because of that stuff. It's it can really, <clears throat> you know what I mean. So it, that's very good paint. It's the best I've ever used. And uh, so, best thing you do is once you open up that can, seal it as tight as you can. You can buy it in pints. That's it. They come in pints, half pints, if owns. Just every day, shake the hell of that thing. Shake it. Don't give it a chance to make a to make a film on top of there. Just keep shaking it every day. Okay, that's about it, guys. I'm, I said my piece for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, so stay posted. I have, uh, I have the albatross video coming for you this Monday. And uh, I'll get my back on the A6, the A10 uh, Warthog, get that going. I get paid this following week. I'm going down there and buying me a camcorder, another one. Yep, another one. And uh, this time I get done with it. I'm going to lay it down so it won't get busted. That's two of them that got shot because of carelessness on my part. So this time I'm going to give it a chance for the third time. So I'm very excited to get in the camcorder. I can make some decent videos. The ones I got now, this, cam this webcam I have up here, it, it does a good job. It's all right. You guys get a general idea how it is. But that camcorder is high fidelity all the way. I like it. It's right in there. It's, yeah, yeah. it's the bee's knees. Okay. I think I'm going to buzz out of here. Uh, make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. And stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely. And just be aware of your surroundings when you go to work, go to the store, things you got to do. And get yourself a couple good kits or a kit. or And uh, 
take care of your family first. The rest of the time is yours. And just get kicked crazy and build and, and let the styrene soothe your cares away. Okay, this is the conclusion of video one on the Airfix License MPC 148 scale EA6B Prowler. And I'll catch you Monday on the SA16B Albatross by Truffler 148. So stay posted for that. And we got more videos following after that, guys. God love you, fellas, and God bless you guys. This is Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. Bye, gentlemen.